washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by the same? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Lay aside the garments that are stained with sin and be washed in the blood of the Lamb. There's a fountain flowing for the soul unclean. Oh, be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Are you in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Thank you. Not every sermon is for everybody, but every sermon is for somebody. Today, that was me. Um, a changed person I became 32 years ago when I was plunged and raised up a new creature. Recently, I was changed again with a choice and a bad choice. I've made a lot of bad choices, but uh, I've always had God and still have God. But in a blink of an eye, I made choices that took me from being bewildered, confused, angry, hateful, in fury, and then in rage, and then finally in violence. Blink of an eye. I was changed. You know, blink of an eye. Not every sermon is for everybody. Every sermon is for somebody. Today was me. I come before you as, and tell you that I am a sinner. I am. I've done things against what God would say to do. And I don't come here for your tears, and I don't come here for your hugs. I come here for your prayers, because I'm a believer in prayer, as you are. And I, I pray that you will pray for me, that this will be taken from me, and that I'll never be part of it again. I'm going to ask my friend, Steve, to pray for me. Thanks, Al. First off, and being able to admit to yourself, much less stand up here and admit publicly to everyone else that you have shortcomings. You know, we all have shortcomings if we're willing to admit them, and we thank you. Dear Father, we approach thy throne this morning. And Father, we're asking for your continued well-being and continued help in being with Al each and every day. We know not what all he's dealing with and what he's going through, but we pray, Father, that you touch him in his life and you touch him in his heart and you make things better in his life that he can... Uh, live and be the Christian that he needs to be. And Father, we pray that you use us in any way that you can to be of aid and be of help to him in living his Christian life to the fullest that he can. We know, Father, you hear our prayers and we know that you could answer. And we know, Father, that when our brother stands up and asks for prayers that he needs it and we're, we're asking, Father, on his behalf. And we're thanking you, Father, for the end result because we know you'll hear and we know you'll answer. But be with him each and every day. For we pray it in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you, Al.
we've said it before and we'll we'll say it again that this is a praying congregation and you don't know what your brothers and sisters are dealing with but always keep them in your prayers we remember all of those that we have on our our prayer list we have those that are they're traveling the Finleys are traveling to Oklahoma to see their son and spend time with uh, their son and with Kendall so remember them as they travel Bella Bobo had facial reconstruction surgery to fix an underbite this past week and uh, Tyler can attest to the fact that she needs prayers as she recovers from that. Uh, is she doing good? Have you gotten an update from her lately? I talked to Jeannie this morning. She's still not good, but she can't eat because she's real nauseated and It's a very tough surgery to recover from. But Tyler will tell you it's worth it if you go through that, but she's probably not saying that right now. So the next few days are very crucial for her, so prayers would certainly be welcome uh, for that. That is uh, Patty's granddaughter and uh, Jenny. Bobo's daughter, so we all know them, but uh, remember her if you would. Are there others that we may not have mentioned that are in need of our prayers? Thank you for that, Al. You make us all humble to stand here and do that. Nothing else we need to mention. Closing song, be back at 6 o'clock this evening. Closing song will be 957, This World Is Not My Home. Amen. We'll sing one verse, and after that we'll be dismissed in prayer. 957, stand if you will. I must sing. This world is not my home, I'm just a passing. Let's bow as we dismiss. Mighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you, Father, for the opportunity we had come today to go to our classes, to sing these songs, and meet around the Lord's table and hear another portion of thy word. Father, we continue to pray for those that's mentioned. Pray for the one that had surgery. Pray for those that have tests run. And pray for those in the nursing homes and hospital. And pray for those that's sick at home. Father, we pray now for our brother Al. And Father, we know what he means to this congregation. And Father, we know that he travels, and we ask that you be with him as he travels and give him a safe trip to his destination and then return him to his home. And Father, we do believe in prayer at this church. Go with us now, God, guard and direct us, forgive us of our sins. Is our prayer in Christ's name. Amen.